try and like hold that there and get the purple thing to move. Um, I'm building an oscilloscope. The easiest part, I think, was getting this thing to just kind of make a light. Um, to turn on the electron gun and get like a little glow going. The much more difficult part is actually getting a dot to appear on this part of the screen, which is necessary for an oscilloscope. This is for students who have an area of interest that they're very passionate about and they want to pursue in a number of different ways to read what past experts have learned about the topic, to do hands-on with a mentor who is an expert out in the field, and then to describe and clarify in writing what they've learned from the whole experience. I'm gonna do a mock interview with someone who's an expert in a field. How did you first become interested in Australian rules football? Well, I'm dating myself here, but as a teenager, when ESPN was just starting, number one, it's not rugby. In American football, when you have certain players defined by certain roles. Every time you get the ball. What did you observe about that interview? It was really helpful that you asked like how he got interested in it. It seemed like you were asking a couple of continuation questions based on what he was saying. Is this gonna be like so this? So what we're gonna do is put it down Oh, right in the middle, here. I see. When you're the curator, it, your job is to like make uh, the artist their art look the best you can. Like I, you know, I do like stuff like this. I like this. Yeah. Like you need like super expensive high voltage power supplies that are super light because uh, yeah, um, you can't really make four thousand volts. Uh, so basically, if you have something with higher like, power density. Welcome to the Senior Project Symposium. When a child grows up learning two or more languages at the same time. Both of these languages will be processed in the same area. And there's an even better option if we can use solar, because if you have a solar array that weighs one kilogram, um, you have renewable energy that you can pretty much get as much energy as you want. It was a really great process. It was a really great um, adventure going with my grandmother and then going by myself and taking all the content from my grandmother and putting it into, in, in, into a book that she can be proud of, I can be proud of, and a lot of people can enjoy. So this is not a curated experience like often happens in the classroom. Instead, they must show resourcefulness and resilience and creativity just to make this learning experience happen for them. There's all these kind of challenges you have to go through and what I'm trying to kind of teach myself with this is how to kind of deal with those challenges, how to expect them, how to prepare for them. I feel also privileged living in San Francisco being being able to be the person I want to be so openly without yeah. being judged or anything. So I think this is like a way of like thanking my city that I've grown up in. And you really just need a lot of experience to just kind of wonder about that kind of thing. I don't have that kind of experience but I want to get some.